We are going to find the answer to this division. How many times does 3 go into 7? It goes into it 2 times because 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 times 3 equals 6. Now what is left over? 7 minus 6 equals 1. The remainder is 1. There are no more numbers for you to divide. But the remainder is not equal to 0. We can continue to divide by adding a 0 to 7. Then add a decimal point to the quotient and to the dividend. Bring down the 0. How many times does 3 go into 10? It goes into its 3 times because 3 times 3 equals 9. 3 times 3 equals 9. Now what is left over? 10 minus 9 equals 1. The remainder is 1. There are no more numbers for you to divide. But the remainder is not equal to 0. We can continue to divide by adding a second 0. Bring down the 0. How many times does 3 go into 10? It goes into its 3 time because 3 times 3 equals 9. 3 times 3 equals 9. Now what is left over? 10 minus 9 equals 1. The remainder is 1. You might notice that when you bring down the zeros, the remainder is always the same. And the number of the quotient doesn't change. If we continue this division, we can find this same number in the quotient and the same remainder. This division can continue forever. We don't have to continue dividing past the tenths decimal place. 7 divided by 3 is about equal to 2.3. The hundredths. 7 divided by 3 is about equal to 2.33. Or the thousandths decimal place. 7 divided by 3 is about equal to 2.333.